In this video, we're going to be looking at exponents. Specifically, we're just going to be giving an overview of what exponents are, and then talking um, about a little bit of shorthand for you to remember what to do with exponents when you see them. So first, what is an exponent? Well, an exponent is something that has a base raised to an exponent, and that's shorthand for multiplication. So let's look at these examples here. Here you have a base of 3 and an exponent of 2. And what this means is 3 times 3, two copies of 3. Similarly, x to the fourth. You have a base of x and an exponent of 4, so this means x times x times x times x, four copies of x. And here we have something that looks a little different, although it's still the same. Here the base is xy, because all of that is in parentheses, and so all of that is being raised to the exponent x plus 2. So here we have x times y times x times y, and then you're going to keep going x times y until you end up with x plus 2 copies. So this is what an exponent is. It's shorthand for multiplication. But what you do with the exponents when you're trying to combine them can be sometimes tricky. So that's what we're going to be talking about. So let's look at some shorthand rules. Here we have a base and here we have exponent. And you can see that I've got this sort of hierarchy where the top is at exponents, then comes multiplication and division, then addition and subtraction, then do nothing. Okay, so this hierarchy should be familiar if you know anything about order of operations, right? So exponents, multiplication and division, addition and subtraction, then do nothing. Those are, that's the order if you're talking about order of operations. So here we have what's happening in the base, and here we have what's happening in the exponent. Okay, so we're going to draw lines that relate what should be happening. So, if you have a base being raised to an exponent, or an exponent being raised to an exponent, that corresponds to one level down, multiplication and division. Okay, so let's see that as an example. Here you've got x squared all being raised to the fifth. So what you've got is an exponent of 2 being raised to another exponent of 5, which means you're going to get x to the 2 times 5, or x to the 10th. Okay, so when you have exponents in your base, right, you have your base x that's being raised to the 2 and then being raised again to the 5, that means that you're supposed to go down a level in the exponents and multiply the exponents together. Okay, similarly, Say you have multiplication and division with your, of your base, that means you're going to add or subtract the exponents. So let's see an example of that. So here we have x to the fourth times x cubed. So we're multiplying these things with the same base. So we're multiplying a base, something with the same base. And what we're going to do is add or subtract the exponents. Since we're multiplying, that means we're going to add the exponents. And this will give us x to the four plus 3, or x to the 7th. Okay, and then finally, if you're adding or subtracting with your base, then you don't do anything with the exponents. So let's see one of those. Okay, let's get back up here. So here you've got x to the 6th plus x. So these two things have the same base. The base here is x, the base here is x, the exponent here is 6, uh, and the exponent in this one is just a 1. You can't see it, but it's a 1. So a common mistake here is to say that x to the 6 plus x to the 1st is x to the 7th, but that's not true. That's what it would be if you were multiplying or dividing things in your base. That's when you add or subtract things in the exponents. Since we're adding or subtracting our base, 
That means we're going to do nothing with the exponent, which means this down here can't be simplified any further. You just leave it as it is. Okay. Now, in the next couple of videos, we're going to be talking some more about exponents, and we'll dis discuss each of these in a little more depth.